Okay, so now we're on to the next video. We've got our outside octagon. And now it's a matter of creating the inner border uh, around this octagon. We will use the offset tool. And if I look at the reference stop sign drawing, I can see that that dimension should be seven millimeters. So having typed in seven, I'm gonna select the outside lines and you see, I want to offset on the inside of the octagon. Try that one again. Okay, so we'll just go all the way around, offsetting. And we're done. Click out of the command. Now we can see we've got some projected uh, portions of the line that we need to clean up. We will use the trim tool. And last time we used the trim tool, we selected cutting boundaries. But in this case, we want everything, every line in this drawing to be a cutting boundary. To do that, I can just, without selecting anything, I can click enter on my keyboard. And now everything's a cutting edge. So once I've done that, I can go around and just nibble off the ends of all of these lines. Okay, so I'm just clicking around the border until I get to the end. And we'll hit enter to get out of the command. We have the border of the stop sign. Next step, we're going to lay out uh, guidelines for the lettering. Uh, which should be familiar to you from manual drafting. To do that, we're using the offset command. We need an offset value of 50. If we look at the stop sign drawing, the reference drawing, we can see from the top of the sign itself, it comes down 50 millimeters to the top of the lettering. So I type 50 and i'm going to actually offset again because i can see that the height of the lettering is 50 millimeters so with that one command i've created a top letter guideline and a bottom letter guideline so i'm going to escape or enter out of that command and now i want these lines to go all the way from inside border to inside border for that there is a tool called extend okay so with extend, it works similar to trim. You need to select boundaries that you want to extend to. And in this case, this line here will be one boundary. And this one line over here will be another. Once I've selected those, I hit enter. And now it's just a matter of clicking the lines that I want to extend. enter out of the command, and there we go. We have a top guideline for our letters and a bottom guideline. 